so today topic is uh, johnson's core chekrovsky reaction so there is a similarities between a uh, wittig uh, reaction and a core chekrovsky reaction in wittig reaction we we'll, we are using a phosphorus elides in this core chekrovsky reaction we are using a sulfur elides so here three main uh, reactions we have in case of uh, johnson's core chekrovsky reaction the first one is a uh, conversion of uh, carbonyl compound into epoxides so this one we call it as a one to addition okay and uh, when we have a imine as a starting material then we are getting a aziridines and when we have a alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound so in that case we will get two product so this is the one product which is having one four addition and this is the one two addition so we have seen in the case of uh, Gilman reagent, uh, there we will be getting a 1-2 one, one, and 1-4 addition. So here also we are getting a 1-2 one, and 1-4 one, addition. So this depends upon the what kind of reagent, reagent we are selecting. So we have two reagents here. This is a one reagent and another one is this one. Okay, so this forms a unstable elide. and this forms a stable elides so why this is forming stable elides so when we treat this one first we see here when we treat this one with the base so base abstract one hydrogen from any methyl group that leads to form so here we will be having a counter and i am i plus okay so in this case also we will take a base here see h2 minus so this is a stable elide and this is unstable elide why this is stable elide because here negative charge is there so just remember all we, we know about the carb, carb, carbanion so carbanion stabilizes when electron with the drawing group is present we can also say that when electron negative group is there that case this negative charge will get stabilized so here also here we have a negative charge so in this negative charge is getting stabilized by the this uh, electron negative atom so because of that reason this is the stable elide whereas in this case there is no uh, electron negative atom to stabilize this negative charge and uh, because of that we call it as a unstable elides so here unstable elides in case of uh, alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound gives one two product and then stable elides gives one four product So in case of unstable elides, so this is the major product. In case of one, uh, in case of stable elides, stable elides, so this is the major product. And we know that uh, sulfur exists in a plus two, plus three, plus four, sometimes plus six oxidation state. So among uh, all these oxidation state, so this is the highly unstable. So if you see here, the sulfur is present in plus three oxygen state. So in this elide, sulfur is present in plus three oxygen state. So just remember, unstable elides forms one two product, unstable elides forms one four product. So now we'll see the mechanism. So here we have a carbonyl compound plus ch2 minus and methyl and methyl so we know that this carbonyl carbon is highly electron deficient so this negative atom attacks to this carbonyl carbon this will be o minus this will be ch2 yes this one so now the elimination of this uh, dimethyl sulfate takes place here and this negative charge comes here and it leads to form epoxide so this is the mechanism involved here 
and similar mechanism with uh, dimethyl sulfoxide also like so when we have uh, this reagent stable lights It's really O minus uh, methyl S double bond O. Then, so this goes like this, and this comes here. So here the byproduct is dimethyl sulfoxide. So this is the mechanism involved in the both the both the reagents. So when we have a aziridines, sorry, when we have imines, in that case. The product will be as it is. Okay, so there are some examples we have in uh, this uh, Corey Chakras reaction. We will see those examples. Like, uh, so now when we have a alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds. Okay, so first we will take the unstable allies. Unstable allies. Nothing but CH2 negative charge. This one is unstable allies. So here uh, the first step is the this is the first step. CH2 yes CH3. So this is very fast reaction and irreversible reaction. So we can say this is very fast reaction because this carbonyl carbon is highly electron deficient in nature so because of that reason this is fast and it's an irreversible reaction so now the elimination of dimethyl sulfur takes place here and uh, this oxygen this negative charge attacks to this carbon so that we will get a one to addition product so this is a one to addition Okay, so then when we will take uh, uh, another reagent, stable lights, we have this one. So when we have a stable light, okay. So here two possibilities are there. Here also one two addition takes place, and also one four addition also takes place. When 1 2 addition takes place, the product what we will get is here is O minus CH2 S double bond O, this one. And when 1 4 addition takes place, this one CH2. Okay, so here what we need to see this this one two reaction is a very fast reaction one two addition is very fast and this is the reversible whereas in case of unstable elite this is the irreversible but in case of stable elite this is the reversible so because of that reason the water product here we get the one two addition product that is very little we can say the minor product but this reaction 1 4 addition is a slow reaction and this is the irreversible reaction okay so because of that reason here we will get a 1 4 product as a major product okay just remember in examination point of view if they ask unstable light so you will get exclusively one to addition one to addition product so when they ask when they have given um, stable light stable light is this one stable light so you will be getting a one for addition product in the one to addition product you will be getting a epoxide in one for addition you, you are getting a cyclopropane ring so these are the two these are the uh, reserve selectivity involved in the Korachakros reaction when we have a stable light and unstable light and we will see some of the examples here
So here we have pH. So this is a stable elite. So stable elite means one four one four product will be major. I'm just writing directly product. Mechanism I have explained already. This is a product, and then we have this kind of example. Methyl group below the plane. So in this case, we have a unstable light. Sorry. This is I plus. So here we have unstable light. So just remember when we have a carbonyl carbonyl group in conjugation, so that time we will give, we will be getting a epoxides and cyclopropane ring. So when we have isolated uh, carbonyl compound, in that case both the reagents, stable elides, sorry unstable elides and stable elides, so both gives the epoxides only when we have a isolated carbonyl compound. So only when we have alpha alphabet unsaturation, that time only we will be getting two different products in the presence of two reagents. So when we have isolated carbonyl compound, in that case we are getting only epoxides only. So here we have a isolated carbonyl compound. So here the product will be. So this will be the product. OH. This is the product. And then we have. Uh, So this is also isolated product. This is also isolated uh, carbonyl compound. So here reagent is uh, PH2S minus plus. So the negative charge is here. So this goes and attacks to this carbon. So the product will be here. This is the product here. So then we have OTPS. So here also isolated uh, double bond we have. So isolated carbonyl compound. So whatever the reagent he gives, the only product here we get is this product and then next we have uh, this compound so here we have imine so we will be getting a as it is here So here we have a three member ring. So three member ring is not stable because of angle strain. So this bond goes like this and the whatever means negative charge goes here and positive charge is there here. So this lone pair attacks to this uh, positive charge carbon. So here we will be getting a, this compound. A five member ring will form here and this will be NH pH. Then we have some more examples. So, like this one, and here we have a reagent.
so here this is the stable elite so stable elite forms one four addition so the product here is this is the product and then so here we have this unstable light okay so this is the we can call it as a like even if you take a stable light also here the stable light if you take stable light also here mostly one to addition only takes place if one for addition takes place there is a conjugation is the, i mean delocalized aromaticity is losing by the benzene so mostly in this kind of question in this kind of examples mostly one to addition only takes place otherwise the aromaticity will lose i mean when you when we have a stable lights in this case we will be getting a only one to addition only because this unstable elide this is the product and when we have this example TMS so here this will get converted into epoxide then we have few more examples here like so when we have a stable elides in that case we'll be getting one four addition so this will get converted into cyclopropane so this is about the courage across reaction here you need to remember only few things that so when we have a isolated double bond carbonyl compound in that case whatever the reagent they will give we will be getting a epoxide when we have a alpha beta unsaturation in that case we have one two addition and one four addition so when we have a imines then we will that in that case we will get we will get as a deletes okay this is about the core across reaction and the only thing here important is the reason selectivity so how uh, here so when we are when we are having a, a stable elides so this is a this is unstable elides when we have unstable elides in that case we will be getting one two addition so when we have a stable elides in that case we will be getting both one four addition as well as one two addition but the only thing is the one two addition is fast and it's reversible and one four addition is slow and it's a irreversible reaction so that we have to keep it in the mind i think last year in a gate 2000 18 there was a question for two marks on this core across reaction so this is about the core across reaction i hope it's everything clear uh, from this core across reaction thank you